Hello everyone and welcome back to Now in Android, your monthly dose of what's new and exciting in the world of Android development. This episode is jam-packed with Android 15 goodness, pixel announcements, inspiring developer stories, and a whole bunch of new releases. Let's dive in. Big news! Android 15 has officially landed in AOSP. This means it's making its way to Pixel devices and a whole host of devices from Samsung, OnePlus, Xiaomi, and more. Android 15 is packed with enhancements including privacy and security upgrades, say hello to private space and pass keys for a safer mobile experience, camera and media improvements, capture and enjoy your content like never before, developer focused enhancements, boost your productivity with updates to Android Studio, Jetpack Compose, and Jetpack libraries. Want all of the details? Check out the full release announcement on the Android Developers blog. In other news, testing between Android and iOS is finally getting a major upgrade. Thanks to Apple joining the R series party, we can all enjoy richer chats with reaction, high resolution media, and easier group management. Speaking of parties, we just threw a massive one with our latest Pixel hardware event. We announced the Pixel 9 family featuring the next gen AI assistant Gemini, plus the new Pixel Watch 3 and Pixel Buds Pro 2. To learn more about the Pixel extravaganza and the power of Gemini, head over to the Google blog announcement. For all of you Android Studio fans out there, Android Studio Koala has dropped with a ton of new features. Check out the improved device streaming, compose previews for Glance widgets, and enhanced debugging tools. Ready to dive in? Grab the latest version and explore all of the new goodies. In this episode, Inspiring Story section, the We Are Play series takes us to Brazil, where they showcase Robson, the co-founder of Stante Mahica, an app that empowers kids to become published authors. To see more about this incredible story and others, check out the We Are Play series on the Android Developers blog. Did you know Google Maps now uses the user-initiated data transfer API as of Android 14? Thanks to the Maps team and UIDT, offline downloads are now 10% more reliable. No more getting lost because your map failed to download on that remote hike. Speaking of helpful resources, be sure to check out the new Spotlight Week series on the Android Developers blog. Ash kicked things off with a deep dive into Android 15, covering edge to edge, foreground services, and pass keys. Spotlight Week brings you a whole host of Android AI news technical deep dive, and much more. You will get to learn about Gen AI, Gemini Nano, bring your own models, cloud models, and many more. And speaking of edge to edge, Ash also wrote a fantastic Medium post with tips on handling insets for Android 15. She covers everything from using material components to drawing backgrounds edge to edge. Don't miss it. Still on Edge to Edge, Megan also has you covered with a blog post on Edge to Edge testing. She provides insight into automated testing strategies and how Compose Previews can help you achieve a seamless Edge to Edge layout. In accessibility news, TalkBack, Android screen reader, is now powered by Gemini Nano. The TalkBack team has upgraded TalkBack's image description capabilities, providing richer and more detailed description for users. Jetpack Navigation 2.8.0 has arrived, bringing type-safe navigation to Compose. Don wrote a comprehensive article on how to use this new feature, making your navigation code simpler, safer, and more efficient. Compose for TV is also officially stable. 
Paul has created a handy guide to help you migrate from alpha to stable so you can build immersive TV experiences with ease. Credential Manager is here. Smart Lock for Password API, Credential Saving API, Sign In with Google Button API, One Type Sign In API, Google Sign In for Android GSI API. They are the names of some of the rings that this one ring is meant to roll over. Credential Manager is the one ring to roll them all. Get it? It's replacing all those previous authentication APIs with one streamlined and modernized experience for both developers and users. Check out Diego and Jason's article on the announcement. Compose adaptive layouts are now stable. Alex wrote a blog post covering the announcement and discussing the various APIs and the use cases. Now you can create layouts that adapt seamlessly to different screen sizes and device postures without custom breakpoint handlers. Get ready for desktop style windowing on Android tablets. Francesco and Fahad just announced a preview to this awesome new feature. Soon, apps will be able to run in resizable windows just like on a desktop. So developers, dust off those windows management skills and get your apps ready. And don't forget to tune into the latest episode of Android Developers Backstage, where Doris from the Jetpack Compose team discusses Compose's animation APIs. Plus, catch the summer edition of the Android show for a recap of all the latest software and hardware announcements from Google. Now, hold on tight, because it's time for our Android X rapid fire round. Where Compose 1.4.0, rotary input support, new modifier the rotary scrollable, and snazzy animation. Health Connect 1.0.0 Alpha 01, read and write access to health and fitness data with testing support. Compose UI 1.7.0, shared element transition, lazy list animation, and test formatting improvement. Check out Ben's blog post for more details. Compose Runtime 1.7.0, enhance composition locals and optimize state accessibility and improve Lambda invalidation. Compose Material 3 Adaptive 1.0.0, tools and components for building adaptive UIs for all screen sizes. Compose Material 1.7.0, stable bottom drawer, modal bottom sheet, and backdrop scaffold components, plus performance boots. Compose Foundation 1.7.0, performance boots, new education API, and refined clickable components. Compose Animation 1.7.0, new share element transition APIs, custom content alignment, and stabilized APIs. Collection 1.4.3, performance enhancement and bug fixes for scatter map and scatter sets. Camera 1.5.0 Alpha 01, dual camera video capture, audio control in recordings and bug fixes. Media 3 1.4.1, improved preload handling, playback with loading failures and DRM fixes. That's it for this month now in Android. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any new episode. And be sure to leave a comment below letting us know what you're most excited about in Android 15. See you next time. And oh, to all my friends on iOS, don't forget to add me to the group chat.